Hi! Nice for you to buzz on over. It's so sweet of you to be here with me this afternoon. Today I will be harvesting honey with my fellow teammates. This is from a Lingstroth hive. The first thing that we need to do is unca uncap the honey. As you can see, the honey right now is capped. <laughs> here Tori will demonstrate how to uncap honey. So oh, this frame is full of honey and it's not leaking out because the bees cap it with wax. That's what this yellow covering is. And there's a couple tools you can use to uncap a frame. This here is an uncapping knife. It has a serrated edge. And you can also use a fork. Um, and I will start using the fork just to demonstrate how that's done. And you basically just put the fork right on the top of the honeycomb and you scrape the wax away just like that. And now the honey comes out. And now I will also try using the uncapping knife. Just scraping off the top layer of wax here, like that. Look at that. Look at that. This wax can be saved to make other wax products by melting it down. This is the second frame that we've uncapped and you have to uncap both sides. It gets a little tricky because the honey starts flowing out, but just move quickly. And then we put it in the extractor here and you have to put one frame on each side in here so that it's balanced so that when you spin it, um, the honey comes out. Okay, now that our two Frames of uncapped honey are in the extractor. The fun part begins. You spin it vigorously so that all the honey will shoot out of the frames and go into the extractor and it'll collect at the bottom and then we could bottle it. <laughs> so after you've spun it for a while, all the honey will come off of one side but then you have to flip it so that the other side is facing outwards so that the centripetal force can get the honey off of the other side. And then spin it some more. After you have extracted the honey, you can just scrape off the wax like this. And use this wax and melt it down into candles or use it for salves, um, variety of different uses. The next step after you have harvested um, and extracted all the honey is to filter it. So what you need is a large bowl and you will probably use multiple bowls depending on how much honey you have extracted and a metal strainer. Um, so what you do is you untwist uh, this knob and then you just lift this open and all the honey filters out and you want to filter the honey between two and three times uh, if it does end up becoming or being more dirty uh, filter it more but you don't want to have any suspended objects in the honey now we will bottle our honey so I have my bucket of honey, bowl of honey, um, my jar, a funnel, my lid, my jar grabber, my labels for the jars. This label will has a label space so you can put what type of honey you are bottling, whether it be wild flower honey, fall honey, summer honey, spring honey, and then your label and Little. a setup for your boiling water. So the first step to do is to sterilize your jar. So you take your jar grabber, clamp the jar in between it, stick it in the boiling water, get water in, pour the water out, and you put the jar to the side to dry. And once it is dry, you take the jar 
and you fill it up with honey. So you take this ladle, it's a two ounce or 12 ounce ladle, fill it up half ways with honey. Then you pour your ladle into the jar. You want to fill up your honey just below the nape of the bottle. Then you go over to the sink and you want to rinse off your honey bottle to make sure that there's no honey surrounding it. Once that dries, you can place your stickers onto the honey, onto the front, and this would go onto the back. And then you will end up having a beautiful jar of honey.